Welcome to the Performance Kitchen. I'm The Pressure from Hoxton Radio. And today we've got Joa Kimwim from the London Lions joining us. <laughs> How are you doing? What are we making today, Joe? Uh, today we're going to be making uh, it's a dish I probably have like two or three times a week. It's salmon and mashed banana, sweet potato. Yeah. Interesting. Interesting. Yeah. Okay, where should we kick it off? All right, so what we're going to do first, what I usually do, what mm -hmm. I usually do is um, I like to make my own sauce okay. for, my, um, for my salmon. So what we're going to do, we're going to get some ginger, clove of garlic, and I'm just going to get this going. Where did you learn this recipe? I'm quite excited. All right, already. so basically the salmon is just kind of just normal just making salmon but the mashed sweet potato was something that I actually picked up online because I was for ages I was just looking for you know what kind of healthy foods I can eat and stuff like that and sweet potato always comes up but it gets boring eating sweet potato every day mm -hmm. just made the same way so um, I seen this recipe online as I love bananas to make Ma to mash up a banana into it mm -hmm. and it gives it a whole different taste it looks com tastes is this going to be then like really sweet sweet potato it, mash it, can we have it as dessert maybe it it's not going to be it's not going to be that sweet no. okay but it really depends on how on how sweet you like your bananas because obviously if you like it really sweet you can get um you can get really ripe bananas mm -hmm. but if you don't you can just get a uh, less ripe one so. I suppose the later in the week it gets as well, because I get bananas out on the weekend, maybe like everyone else. The later in the week, they start to get a little bit soft and a bit less. See, but the thing is, when you're an athlete, you'll probably end up going to your local supermarket like every three or four days just to pick up more fruit, because I'm always using tons of fruits in smoothies and stuff like that. So we stay in there pretty much. Just don't judge my peeling skills. I'm liking it so far. This bad. is some good. This is some really fine cut. <laughs> Garlic, by the way, this is uh, going down over here. If you could, I'm going to use half of this. Mm -hmm. If you could just chop that up as, as small as possible. In terms of the rest of the team, is anyone like well known for their cooking? Do people do people come around yours for like this legendary salmon and no, sweet potato? This don't. season we had we didn't have any really like great chefs. I'm going to need that a little bit smaller. Okay, smaller than that. Um, yeah, this season we didn't have any like great chefs, but uh, one player I used to play with, uh, Rod Brown, he was a captain of our team mm -hmm. uh, a couple of years ago. He was an amazing chef. He'd whip some great stuff up. Yeah, so. Do you guys eat like as a team before the match? Or? Usually we would eat separately, but obviously on away games we'd be together. So we usually get to a restaurant and try and eat some, something together or something like that. Mm -hmm. So sometimes, but obviously we go out together for team Team meals like once a month and stuff like that, but that's just that's just social bonding and stuff like that. All right, so what we're gonna do? This sauce. Mm -hmm. So I get some honey. Probably need to open it up. At least we know it's fresh. Yeah. Eh? There you go. So I'm gonna bang that in here, and I'm gonna need. Generous. Really. So this is like this is our glaze now for the salmon. So we're whacking in some garlic, some ginger, some honey, or is this for the mash? Yeah, this is, this is just a little sauce for the salmon, so okay. put like a tablespoon of paprika, just want paprika. Gonna get a pinch of salt. Some when you're cooking at home, yeah. do you ever pretend that you are on the telly? I know today's a bit different, because we are, but do you ever pretend you're like doing Sunday kitchen or anything like that? I actually never do. No. Um, to be honest, cooking's not one of my favourite things, but it's like, as an athlete, it just became a necessity because you need to eat straight after training. You need to, you, and there's certain things you've got to eat. Um, some of my family hate the kind of food I'm, I eat, mm -hmm. so they never want to cook it. So sometimes I'm left making it for myself and stuff like that. And then what about like the holidays at Christmas and that when you're at home? Do you still have to be as militant or can you just hang back and eat loads of celebrations that's the thing when most people are having christmas we're still in season so mm -hmm. so that is prime time we've got to be eating properly and stuff like that so no time off for christmas no turkey for joe damn it's gonna be spicy and sweet paprika and the honey and the chilies yeah 
I really, like I like sweet things, I've got a sweet tooth, but I just like making it on my own. I love spicy food. And you're training for the new season right now, so you guys kick off um, only in a few weeks' time now, back at the Copper Box. Yeah, so um, first game's on the 24th of September mm -hmm. at the Copper Box, but um, right now we're still in the off-season. We're going to be heading off to Poland. I'm going to take this. Poland on like the 12th of September for some pre-season games, so I'm just going to... Score in it. Yeah, just a little bit. Because if you don't, sometimes the flavour not getting inside and then... Into some bacon paper and a bacon tray. Hope this is for me. It is now. I mean, you picked it up, so you use that, mate. I'm probably gonna have to do two. All right, can you just cut up some broccoli for me? Uh huh. As finely as the ginger? As f no, not as finely as the ginger. Some pieces in there. And then in terms of the rest of the team and like, like banter within you guys, who's kind of the joker of the pack or who's kind of leading the mischief on tour? It's 100% Jamal Williams. Okay. So Jamal Williams is, uh, he's Canadian. He's been on the, t last season was his first season with the team. Mm -hmm. He is hilarious. Like, it's just jokes on jokes. He's just never seen a time when it's not good to tell a joke. You're a forward, right? Yeah. Is, is it kind of similar to football when like the forwards are kind of the cool ones and they're the ones that people want to be mates with? As uh, opposed to like the goalkeeper or like the defenders are sometimes a bit, especially the goalies are a bit weird. I can't say it is like that for uh, basketball. I would say that um, in, in basketball, everyone plays attacking and defence and defence. Uh -huh. So I am a forward, but that's, that's more of just my role as in being one of the smaller guys on the team and stuff. One of the smaller guys? I'm one of the smaller Jeez. guys on the team, yeah. So, what you do, we'll put all the sauce on that and then put your veggies around it. I hate okay. vegetables. Really? So this was like a trick to get me to eat vegetables. You're gonna put it on your salmon. You put it in the salmon and you let it cook. Mm -hmm. So then it start, it tastes so much better. Catch the carrots. This is a new <laughs> game, okay. So basically, me and all my friends, we're like big nerds. We mm -hmm. love uh, going to like comic book conventions. Okay. And like playing video games, watching movies and stuff like that. So what we kind of did was we just, we just did it and we just thought we'd record some stuff and just share with everyone what we was doing. So that's pretty much. So we can watch you is. online. So you can, so you can watch me like at After home. this. <laughs> After you've watched us on the performance kitchen, you can go and watch us um, playing video games at, at conventions and stuff like that. Um, just having a good time. Okay. So lots of people don't know, or they do know about conventions, but they, you know, they've got certain thoughts on it and mm -hmm. think it's just for kids and stuff like that, but it's not as great stuff for everyone. So that's the story of that. So what my, my sister-in-law showed me a neat trick here. You're gonna wrap this up. Okay, in the green roof paper. Yeah. No oil needed or anything like that. Mm -hmm. You just got to make sure it's really tight so it doesn't come loose. Okay. So is it going to kind of steam it then? It's just, it's just going to bake it, but it's going to keep it all together. It's not going to let any of the flavour get away. And it's going to also like cook the vegetables mm -hmm. and the salmon. So usually I do one of these, but We'll make this more. Well, I'm here, too. so yeah, you know, obviously. need to so, share today. Like, you've got a guest round, so. Exactly. You've got to eat as well. And I'm hungry. So what you do, wrap those both up and then bag them in the oven. Yeah. That's so I'm bagging it in the oven. And how long is it going for? All right, so that's going to be in there for 20 minutes. Okay. I mean, what's one of those things like, when I get home from practice, I don't want to be mucking around in a kitchen for two hours trying to make the biggest gourmet meal, so. Uh, just bang it in there for 20 minutes and then everything else will be done by the time that is. So if we've got a timer, if you've got a timer for me. Okay. They've set it, they've set it in the corner, so we're ready. We're rolling. All right, so now we're going to start on a sweet potato, basically. Just going to get all Never the skin off Never with the skin this. on? It just depends how you're going to make it. Because I'm going to boil it, okay. it's best to take the skin off. Yeah. But if you was going to bake it, you can leave the skin on and make it like it was a jacket potato. 
Mm. The BBL is like growing. The British Basketball League is growing now, isn't it? Yeah, definitely. I mean, a basketball at the ages of under 18 is one of the most participated sports in school. Mm -hmm. It's just after that, that it's where it falls off a bit. But um, the BBL is getting better every single year. We've got great players in it uh, year in and year out. Um, so definitely moving forward. So what I'm, I'm doing is I'm going to cut these up into mm -hmm. like even slices just so that when they, when they boil, they kind of all boil together at the same time. Okay. And then playing in the copper box, being in the Olympic Park, yeah. that must be a, like a nostalgic honour like every time you're in there after the Olympics. Yeah, I mean, it's just, it is one of the, it is the best place to play in the country, hands down. And um, it is a great honour. It is an amazing facility. Um, and it's, it's just great, especially when it's a full house in there. It's a great atmosphere, especially with growing up around the corner. Mm -hmm. That's enough sweet potato. Growing up around the corner, um, it's just great to have my friends and family come down and watch me play. So, these boiling the water. I'm gonna bang these in. It's gonna take ten minutes okay. for them to get ready. So maybe we can play a little game online to like just busy ourselves. While the... What do you do then in this bit? Do you, are you good with like washing up and stuff, or do you just leave it in the corner to like? I'm up? really horrible with washing oh, up. Dear. And as you can see, I just like to make big messes yeah. and, and just brush it off to the side. Cheers. And then okay. worry about it two days later. <laughs> All right, so what else? What I do then is I make it with a little walnut salad. So I get some, some baby spinach, a handful, mm -hmm. maybe a little bit more. Um, just cut up a bell pepper. Mm -hmm. So you're pretty well known for your slam dunking ability. Yeah, I'm, I'm a bit of a slam dunk champion, some would say. Okay. Uh, it's just a part of the game, really. I mean, when I, was, when I first started playing basketball, um, I was 14, and one of the kids was like, you could probably slam dunk, and I'd never tried it before, not ever. So I ran up there, jumped in the air, and that fell over. I made like a, <laughs> like a complete idiot. Obviously, it was my first time. But then I was like, I'm a pretty competitive person, so I just kept on trying and trying. I went home, came back to school that day early before everyone got in, and I was practicing for ages until I could do it. And then from then, I just carried on going, kind of watching that other like famous NBA players and stuff like that and all the tricks they could do, and I tried to just copy them. So um, I'm just going to break up some hazelnuts into this. Uh, some walnuts, excuse me. That's about it. And I'll put some Italian dressing just a little bit. In terms of like prep ahead of matches and that, do you guys, are you listening to music in the changing room together? Or is it like you on your own with your headphones? All guys, um, everyone on the team's a bit different. So it really depends. What I do is I, I've got like, I've got like the music system and I always bring it and I always try and set the tone. Being the captain of the team, I always try and set a certain tone in the changing room. So that tone set, other guys might come in with their own headphones and want to listen to their own music or want it to be quiet and they're allowed to do that as well. But I just always like there to be like a certain kind of atmosphere when guys are getting to the gym because obviously sometimes with it, with it just being like normal life, you know, you can get, you can get caught up with stuff. You come, Come to, come to the gym thinking about other stuff. And I just want guys to know that when they get there, it's time to lock in, you know what I'm saying? We're about to go to work, so. And then so when it. you're on court, is your head like totally in it? Because whenever I did sport, I'd be like thinking about other stuff. I'd be like singing in my head a little bit. I'd struggle to concentrate, I think. The thing, the thing about it is now, I've been playing for 14 years. When I play, there's nothing else. There can be a million people screaming my name or whatever and it's all zoned out like it's total concentration on what's going on and i feel like that's pretty much how most players are I'm feeling pretty hungry after this you've made me uh you've made me want it <laughs> all right so i'm just gonna drain the water in this if you want to help me out okay if you just hold this great i'll do the dangerous bit and hold this i mean we can swap over if you want <laughs> if you weren't hot before Right, so what we're gonna do with this, we've got them. So I'm just gonna cut off a banana and stick it in. Stick it in there. Usually I'd use like half a banana mm -hmm. if I was doing one, but two. For two people, I use a whole banana. 
How do you feel about bananas? Are you in or you Well, it's my, it's, I think it's the nation's favourite fruit, so I am in, my friend, yeah. Cool. I'm big on bananas. I find strawberries a bit overrated. Do you really? I love a they, strawberry. They, in a lot of sugar, I like a strawberry. I don't mind it with cream, but I, banana all the way for me. That's what you're going to do. Just mash this up. Now, this is a workout in itself. Yeah, this is a hard job, and with the steam on you as well. This is, this is good pre-season training. Yeah. You don't need your, your camp in Poland. Right, this looks pretty mashed. Yeah, you've done a good job there. Yeah. Alright, cool. So I think that mash has been slam dunked big time. <laughs> time we can do some plating. Right about now. So and they've both stayed with inside their greaseproof paper sleeping bags. There you go. Joe's performance parcel, I think is what you're unwrapping right there, and it looks go. delicious. See, now, it's up to you what you want to do with the vegetables. I'd usually keep them in, mm -hmm. but you don't have to. You can throw them out. These Come on, you've gone to all the effort. I chopped some of these. We're not throwing any of them. No, I'm just saying, if you wanted to, but um, I, always, I always eat the vegetables. They're good for you. And they don't, at this point, they don't even taste like vegetables. They taste amazing, but you need that. Come back to life, isn't it? Come on, you've, the got struggles. One, you've got one hand on the trophy. I've got one out perfectly. Yes, there you go. we're in. There you go. All right. Just put this out of the way. I told you to leave that for a couple of days. Um, <laughs> Colourful plate you've ever seen. It's good, it's working well with the pink, isn't it? So, is your sister in law fine with you kind of using this and having this recipe as your own? Or when she finds oh, out and no, sees no. this video, she this gives you a bit mad. It's 100% my recipe. Oh, okay. She's always just yeah. trying to change it. I see, and customise it. Yeah. She, she always loves like, lots of flavours and it's way too sweet, stuff that I can't eat at all. So, dude, we could have mashed that a bit more. That's yeah, alright. It's fine. Uh, and then just a bit of salad. There's nothing special about the salad, but it's good. Spinach, peppers, and then nuts is good for some fibre and that. And then do you have dessert afterwards, or is this it now for like the day? This is like... going to be it. This is going to be it. This is usually what I'd have for dinner. Um, sometimes I'm supposed to eat again before bed around 11 o'clock. Like it was like a little bar snack here. Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, not Mars bar, but like some some 100% uh, fat-free uh, yoghurt and stuff like that, um, right before bed. Uh, that is about it. So there we go. Um, right, I'm ready to tuck into this. Yeah, me too. The moment Good of truth salmon. happens now. Mmm. The sweetness kicks in straight away. You liking your own concoction today? Yeah, like I said, I eat this like two or three times a week. Huh? I really like it. How do you feel about the sweet potato? It's good, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's nice. The banana just gives it like a little lift again. Yeah, like if you if you like it, like I said, if you like it really like sweeter, you use a riper banana or mm -hmm. whatever. But yeah, I'm quite pleased with how this turned out. Mm-hmm. As am I. Thank you very much for watching the Performance Kitchen today. I've been The Pressure from Hoxton Radio, and this has been Joe from the London Lions. We're going to finish eating right now, and you can subscribe just below.